Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to be teaching you, teaching you guys how to make your very own bridge in box rig, and that is not how you do it, don't worry. <laughs> um, so yeah, just basically your walls there, you can do this on any full level, so you don't really need those walls. So this is just so I can get it more elevated up to give you guys a better demonstration of what I'm trying to do. And so, make sure you're uh, currently symmetrical, and then have this one just be barely, so make sure it's on the middle, make sure you memorize the little pixel right there. If you need some trouble, you can mark it with an otter pedal, or, or, like right here or something. Uh, but yeah, next up, I want you to use a standard square beam. Uh, this is kind of needed, I guess. Because if you don't use a standard square beam, well, good luck. Let's see, so we're going to do that and that. And then maybe we have a symmetrical thing on one side. And then over on the other side, we're going to do the exact same thing. So boom. So there's your there's your lower railing. Actually, keep those there for now. Uh, now for your little pillars, I'm f for you can use anything. You can use mailboxes. You can use any kind of cube. Basically, just make this be like your uh, little pillar that starts on your railing, kind of. So we're gonna be painting that that brick texture. You can paint it whatever you want. Uh, just know that this is kind of time consuming, but once you get the hang of it and it starts working out pretty well like I've probably made a lot of bridges just like this and like it took me a long time to get used to it but finally I am so so now basically what I'm doing is placing these inverted wedges in the gaps uh, this is why you want to have very specific and uh, symmetrical space in your bridge and like in terms of uh, the pillars and stuff here so you can fit these shapes in as gaps and then basically what this does is it gives you an even better excuse to uh, make a railing out of basic shapes too. And so you can put this atop there as well. And then you can paint this thing under thing, whatever you want. Again, this doesn't really matter. I'll just do it like this or something. Oh, whoops, painted the wrong thing. All right, <laughs> that's kind of awkward. Um, all right, and so now now we're gonna actually just go on the top of this one and make sure you can follow through. So this way, this is you outlining your uh, railing, like your upper railing too. And so, wait, actually, I just realized I made a mistake. Oh man, I'm over here bragging about how many times I've done this, and I'm out here making mistakes as well. So it's pretty, pretty fun, pretty fun. Um, and so there you go. There's kind of your. Uh, easier support this is a little bit of a higher bridge but basically you guys get the concept uh, so the bridge like normally doesn't have that big of an arch underneath it although you can definitely make it work with your build just uh, if you use this technique like that's all this is really it's just this technique that's all you need to know uh, then you will be perfectly fine on your build and hopefully your build actually turns out really well because uh, you can blend it in you can have landscaping you can have anything with it really you can have like rocks underneath it you can do whatever honestly and now we're gonna do the float hack uh, if you guys don't know this is the roof carpet trick I call it the float hack although most people call it the roof carpet trick um, so let me see a low IQ moment no that's fine all right and then do this here make sure you have enough room underneath this for the carpet because you and that's not a cart that's a chair that's a chair um, all right all right what did I say guys low IQ moments you know, this is this is not my peak, guys. You just gotta believe me. Uh, and so basically, right here, I'm sorry, guys. I got a got a little confused there. All right, yeah, something just came up, and I was like confused by it. But oh well, we're fine. All right, so keep resizing, and make sure you uh, like fill in this gap here because you want this to go directly to the middle and to lower it as well make sure you cover in this tiny gap in here so we just gotta remember that because otherwise it's gonna look pretty weird and so what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna add in a smaller little basic shape and uh, I could actually probably split this up into three parts maybe I'll release them all tomorrow maybe I'll release them separately 
you guys could all this no or i could probably fit it all into one who knows because i could like teach you guys how to make this bridge overground and stuff like that and that should be pretty good and then make sure you have your final horizontal wedge and so you can add in like yeah so much more detail on the railings if you want to it's all personal preference that's the best thing about making custom bridges uh, and stuff like that custom designs like this where it's mainly just the technique that you need to learn is that you can make it to be whatever you want it to be and you're not completely forced by my guidelines so now you have this and now you're probably like what am I gonna do for my uh, pathway and so first off just so that way you do not have a complete ugly underside of this bridge it might still be ugly we I mean it's again personal preference per personal preference guys um but yeah this could just go here and here and obviously I know that this is too steep to place a basic shape on don't worry guys I know that I'm not that dumb and uh, see what I mean by I made the arch a little too big that that's just this is just kind of what I was referring to um, so we're gonna try to get this on the small pixel here here we go ooh that did not work out uh, all right that's kind of sad um <laughs> uh, but basically guys normally sorry about that I just pulled up messages it's pretty fun uh, I had a message okay but basically you can bring this across in the if you don't want to do that which in the case this instance uh, is where I can't do it go back to your start starting point if you don't know what I mean by that is get that floor back in there and just get those uh, corner pieces out of the way only for a little bit this is completely temporary and then now we are going to place this uh, make sure you get it on the same pixel each side this is how I made my overgrown bridge last year back in like February Wait, it is I mean it's still February but I was talking about last year's February just just to be clear and, okay okay oh my gosh why is my mouse not clicking <laughs> this is an outrage all right so this is the slow way but this is it shows more patience I guess so like and once you get the hang of it like this previously with just structurals and I guess okay now I'm just using structurals still uh, it took me like 20 hours like on my first try so and that's because nobody else had done it before and this is kind of a pretty ugly like path example so I'm pretty sorry about that um, but don't worry because remember what I said guys it's all about your uh, your personal preference you can add on whatever you want it's just the technique that you need to know and see so, yeah, this, this turns out being kind of a kind of a bad bridge probably but I mean just believe believe in the bridge and the bridge will do wonders all right that's pretty cool and yep perfect all right oh my gosh okay okay um, and so then if eventually when you start getting to the point where you're going a little too high if you want to this is another technique that's very important uh, you can start doing this because since you're going inside of the wall you're kind of not doing anything too uh, too tricky in terms of your uh, beam situation and so yeah I don't even know if this bridge is walkable really it should be but we will we will see I remember your center point of the bridge you can kind of determine it by this right here so I see that the center point is coming up which makes me know that I need to do something uh, to get even on both sides and so I could do that which actually I just realized is kind of a big mistake and I can just do this and do this and there we go and look I did make a mistake right there and see how that mistake kind of kind of affected me and that's just what I mean you guys when I say it's important to keep your things in line quite literally uh, but I mean like sorry as long as you guys know oh man I made an even bigger mistake guys let's go <laughs> let's go as I guys can't believe me I know how to make bridges all right but basically you get that point you get the point of that and so now 
now we're gonna uh, I'm gonna need you guys to do that on the other side I'm gonna try to keep this all in one video and it's already 10 minutes long so I'm trying to like kind of skip out on some important details now we're gonna teach you how to make it overgrown uh, so basically put in some planks just like whoa, whoa there all right just like this make sure they're pointing inwards then you won't have to worry about too many things you see what I mean about me not giving myself so much space? It's kind of a bad thing here. Okay. Oh my gosh, come on. There we go. There we go. And then now I'm basically paint this like uh, grass texture. This is a pretty old method, but it's very effective. And so not all modern techniques are uh, completely like, you know, game changing you can still use the old methods if you want and at the time this was like the game changing thing which is kind of funny to look back at it's no nobody had seen it before and so it was like you know it's pretty unique and so you got you can add some bushes you can add so many different plants around and stuff like that and add in these rods and honestly it's probably easier if you paint them and then just clone them all around you can you can do, do some cool little things with them make some little patterns uh, just pretty much just keep keep it going. This is kind of also applies to what I taught you guys in the rope bridge tutorial. If you're wondering, if you want a more detailed bridge tutorial, you can go watch that. Uh, I believe it's kind of one of my more popular videos actually. So hopefully you've seen it. If you haven't, shame on you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's perfectly fine if you haven't seen it. Uh, but yeah, speaking of things that you, if, that you haven't seen, have you not seen the subscribe button? Like, if you are unsubscribed, what are you doing? I need you to hit the subscribe button right now because otherwise it's proven to me that you are blind and it also just proves to me that you don't want to see any more of this stuff. I'm just kidding guys. You don't have to subscribe, but it does help me out a ton, so please consider it. Alright, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, some other plants that, so basically plants I'd recommend that you use. This is a pretty bad landscaping like in my eyes, but like for a lot of you guys you can do whatever. So uh, use this bush, the mushroom this little firing uh no not a firing thing oh my uh lily pad that's what it is what was i thinking i don't know and you can use some of that you use this natural plant that's pretty good too make sure you resize though don't forget to resize because that's pretty important so that's pretty good and then you can uh add in some potted vines and stuff like that later on and so that's pretty good and if you're wondering about the under thing well I mean you can kind of ignore it really you don't have to like make sure you do a good job here and so if you want to kind of help hide what's underneath a little bit more don't worry I got you so go into the full mode here and there we go come on all right there you go and there we go so that's just a small thing there that's one small thing I mean you can do this and make sure it goes out by two and then make sure you get a nice center point and there you go you get that and then you can get that and that if you want to you can you can have it go out like this you can do whatever honestly like that's that's kind of more more detailed approach to things and you can obviously make it a little less messy than I just uh, than I did uh, and if you want to add some light to your bridge, well, don't worry. Since it is natural, it's or since it's overgrown, you can kind of add in like some oil lanterns along the side. I would recommend you use flint lighting, uh, and probably make your it's a little bit darker. There you go. And if that's not good enough for you, add in some gloomy lanterns here on the side. And same thing, flint lighting. There you go. And so look at night it's not too dark and you can still see the bridge um but yeah that's kind of well i have to teach you guys at least i believe uh and so yeah and if you want to make i guess this is one final thing uh, so if you don't want to do the whole basic shapes thing which i get a lot of people don't want to do uh, good luck <laughs> i'm just gonna um so obviously cover up your pathway but you can add in some support stuff just like this this is a very detailed approach to things so I would not recommend doing this until you've done at least like a 
a few bridges made a few of your own bridges and then you can like kind of you and you know that you're gonna if you, you'll know just trust me uh and then like you can fill in some stuff here i guess it really isn't the best video but i mean like i hope it helps you guys out some i really do i, re I really do yeah just kind of exaggerated on that word there for some reason and if you're worried about that gap there just remember it's perfectly okay to overlap structurals as long as you don't panic just overlap structurals you're fine it saves your life all right but yeah so that's pretty much it for this video i'm sorry that it was kind of not useful at all but if you guys did enjoy please consider leaving a like and subscribing i don't know what my character is doing but i'll see you guys in my next video goodbye everybody